right here in this trench with the footing foundation wall and the section of the perimeter drain I'm gonna show you and explain how the perimeter drain should be laid when it's done properly and we'll also explain why so the perimeter drain should be below the height of the footing this is the footing this is the foundation wall and the entire pipe should be ideally just like this below the top of the footing why in case this one fills entirely with rainwater in a massive massive downpour and everything inside this trench everything uh, the, the soil gets saturated and everything seeps down and maybe the roof runoff water is also from downspouts from the roof also channeled into this one adding to the underground uh, moving water if this one gets filled with water it's the to the top of it entirely that's still below the cold joint the cold joint is not cold due to temperature there is a cold joint between the footing and the foundation wall first they pour this one and they form up the concrete formwork for the footing and they pour the concrete the concrete sets and then they strip away the wood pieces then they form up again for the foundation wall and they pour concrete into the form fresh, fresh concrete is hitting the previously co the previously poured concrete that's what makes it a cold joint so it's not watertight because old concrete is meeting the new concrete the Conc concrete as a product is not waterproof by any means so there should be a uh, vapor barrier uh, polyethylene sh sheets or of uh, vapor barrier inside inside the basement and uh, for the ensuring that whatever does seep through here and also underneath the footing underneath the whole thing wetting the subgrade of the basement all that water needs to be kept away from the concrete in the basement and uh, and of course there should be insulation underneath that concrete unless you like uh, miserably cold for your feet or surfaces to walk on so back to this pipe uh, that's elevation wise so this one would be too high because if it fails up to this height you know then also the dirt will be saturated to this height and then water will be seeping through the cold joint will be seeping to the uh, compacted subgrade below the basement slab My basement slab is at about this height somewhere here starting here and above it and and that's why that's why the height of this should be is critical also around it there should be drain rock not dirt here you can see dirt for the sidewall for this trench here that's wonderful there should be drain rock clean crushed drain rock crushed with its sharp edges and angles so it doesn't compact round washed rock or or, uh, or or gravel taken out of the river with with uh, rounded corners and edges they compact more than this angular stuff plus the angular stuff is uh, cheaper I believe but but that might change depending on where you live or how close you live to resources so all of this drain rock should be underneath and around surrounding and blanketing the whole thing because this whole drain pipe the drain pipe is perforated on the underside not not this one because I just grabbed a length but the actual drain pipe is perforated on the underside so perforation should be down facing down and the whole drain pipe or this perimeter drain should be enclosed with a three-quarter inch crushed gravel the reason for the crushed gravel is 
so that it doesn't get clogged up with this stuff with sediment and sand because if the if the groundwater moves outside of the pipe within the backfill that's backfilled against the footing and the foundation wall if the groundwater rises again to this height and is moving inside the backfill here because the little uh, little uh, holes and the perforations is uh, are all clogged up in in your uh, perimeter drain then the perimeter drain is not functioning and is not doing anything so to prevent it from clogging up with fine fine sediment sealed and and then sand it should be all encased in drain rock okay so that's how this should be put together when it's built properly and also that's why uh, you should clean every so often your perimeter drain because some silt and clay does make its way through the um, the uh, gaps between the crushed rock and and of course does uh, make it into the drain pipe and uh, so it will settle in it and will eventually it will it could fill up to half its height with just sediment over I don't know decades and again depending on what your backfill is made of made of again it shouldn't be clay it should be dirt so that's how the that's my story that's how the footing foundation wall and the drain system should work together